हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल सूरज इन क्लाउड दिस इज एपिसोड टू ऑफ माई न्यू सीरीज ई के एस टेल्स इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू सी इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग्स ऑल थिंग्स अबाउट ई के एस विच इज मैनेज क्यूबरनेट इज ऑफरिंग बाई ए डब्ल्यू एस इन लास्ट एपिसोड वी गॉट इंट्रोड्यूस टू ई के एस वॉट ई के एस इज हाउ इट केम इन टू द पिक्चर एंड नाउ इन दिस episode 2 we are going to see the architecture of eks so let's dive dive into it so when we say eks is a managed kubernetes that means the control plane is managed now what does managed means so let's look into this diagram as you can see it says it is an aws own account that means this control plane you won't be having access to these machines because they are living inside the aws own account now inside this aws own account they have a eks managed vpc that means if you spin up your eks cluster it will be having its own dedicated vpc in which <clears throat> they will run control plane and require component such as hcd in individual availability zone now this architecture has been done in order to provide highly available and secure sort of control plane now when we say control plane here that means these are the components such as api server scheduler and kube control manager right and this is hcd which is a key value store and which stores all the information in the kubernetes now <clears throat> along with this when we say managed kubernetes means aws manages the scaling of this control plane uh, configurations the backups patching of the underlying machines which are there uh, upgrades everything everything uh, is taken care by aws now let's quickly recap as we said uh trans and aws own account in their eks managed vpc in each az it runs a uh, ocean of it right now this is more about control plane like when you actually try to spin up the cluster this is what has been created under the hood which we can't see all we get is one end point to which our data plane and we as a user can access it right let's quickly take a look how does it look like now we took a look at this component at the moment which was the control plane hcd which is an aws own account for which we don't have access right this one now after this this was just the control plane but the where's the data plane now data plane will live inside your own account which will be in your own control and as we mentioned that once we spin up the control plane we get one end point to which your data plane also talks to and also you as a user also talk to now this will be like a url to access the control plane let's say a api server uh, it will also give us a ca certificate and depend on how we configured the authentication mechanism we can configure it now let's look at data plane quickly so it lives in your own aws account your own vpc now you manage this vpc 
all the easy configuration if there are any subnets you manage it and the nodes now in subsequent episodes we will see the uh, different kind of nodes so there are some sort of self-managed nodes there are managed node groups which are kind of partially managed by EKS and there are some node groups which are called Fargate. Now there can be a different use cases in terms of if EKS is on outpost or if EKS is as a part of EKS anywhere but we'll see that later. But here we are considering a scenario of a managed node group where <clears throat> you will define a resource node group but all the underlying underlying launch template and the auto scaling group is being taken care of by amazon but whereas if you are managing self-managed node group then auto scaling group and all the rest of the stuff you have to manage on your own now let's going back to the data plane in your defined VPC and ASIS, you will be having these nodes which are nothing but EC2 machines. Now on this node, as soon as you <clears throat> spin up these data plane alongside your control plane, it will be having a cube proxy on them running and <clears throat> yeah, that's it. Cube proxy will be running and core dns which which is a service discovery mechanism inside the kubernetes will be running on these nodes now these two services can you can manage them with the help of eks add-on which we will see later so now overall if you look at the whole architecture it does look something like this uh, this was the control plane which we saw which runs in the aws own account in their own VPC, the AZs are sorted already. Uh, <clears throat> it provides all sorts of scaling, backup, patching, upgrades, all sorts of mechanism. This was your data plane, which runs in your own AWS account. And all the VPC, AZ, subnets, all the configuration you do. And then the nodes are nothing but EC2 machines, which runs your workload but the cube proxy core dns kubelet whatever runs on it uh, is been taken care by aws in the case of managed node group and all we get is one endpoint through which we talk so this was more about the eks architecture uh, it was like a highly overview how does it actually looks like under the hood uh, we don't really need to worry about the control plane, but we, we definitely need to worry about the data plane that we own where our uh, workloads do run. So yeah, I think that was about it. Uh, we'll see how we can spin the clusters in upcoming episodes and few more interesting thing about it. Till then, bye bye.